Absolutely. Kurt F says, it routinely amazes me how likable and not dumb Lauren is. Only right, it's the only right wing woman I don't despise. And Travis Hunt says, a face like Lauren's could launch 10,000 ships. Uh, we have Kalen Mesaras who says, unmute me, please. What the fuck? No, I will not unmute you. All decisions to mute on this channel are permanent because you're part of an experiment where I'm trying to improve humanity and discourse on the internet. This is not democracy. It is not free speech. It is JF channel. And so if you do comments on me having too much gel in my air, you lose your right to free speech forever. Or you create another YouTube account and you you can speak. Secret Genius says, why hasn't this movement gone after the alt-light money-making clique more aggressively? That's a that's a, an actual important subject, uh, Mark, independent from the Tommy Robinson thing. There are also, there's a continuum of ideologies between the center and the alt-right proper. And there, there's lots of people making money along those lines, especially I'm thinking of people who are anti-SJW, who, who fight leftism, but who don't do it right in my view. Uh, what are your thoughts on the, alt, the alt-light and the people who refuse to discuss certain subjects? Well, on, on one hand, I've got to praise these people because I've often said that for normies, people who take the red pill, they undergo a political journey. And a lot of people start their political journey with something rather soft. They start it with the anti-SJW rhetoric. They start it with silly YouTube videos where people turn up at feminist marches. They start it with people like Tommy Robinson who get in the press or go on morning television and talk about grooming gangs. So I can't be against these people on the alt light because they act as a gateway to our full red pill to the real truth, which is what we discuss on shows like this. So for that, I'm thankful. But these people do a couple of things that does really annoy me. Whilst on one hand, they act as a gateway, sometimes they also act as a blockade to us and relentlessly counter signal us or relentlessly use the left's terminology to attack us. So they'll call us Nazi and fascist and use words like racist. And do you know what I really like is when all of Tommy's supporters, they say to me, we wouldn't stand with you, you anti-Semite. Now, if I turned around and called them an Islamophobe, they would literally, it would literally blow their minds. These are the people that crap their pants and have a complete meltdown when someone calls them as an Islamophobe or a racist, but they throw out very similar terms to people like myself. And that's this great hypocrisy. And that's one thing I don't like about them. They counter signal constantly. And on top of their counter signaling, they actually reinforce the left's terms. And something else I don't like about them as well is they're constantly shilling for donations and they suck huge amounts of money out of the movement that could be used to set up real political alternatives and be pumped into frontline politics that actually built white communities and helped to uh, bring about some kind of white survival movement or ethno-nationalist movement. But instead, we're funding people's ego trips. And that's another thing that really annoys me. And then if you, as Long was saying, you dig a little further beneath the surface and you see who's actually funding these people, who's associated with them, the people pulling the strings, the fact they are desperate to suck up to any big name Israeli sponsors or go on the Rubin report. And I love the way he sits between these people rubbing his hands with glee as they desperately try to sort of, you know, metaphorically suck him off on his little show. It's cringeworthy. Guys, and, guys, yeah. guys, keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> 